Uh, well, my closing is uh, it's been a uh, well, it's my first time, but it's an interesting talk. Um, as a first gen migrant in the United States myself, uh, I mean, I, I often think of these things. Uh, when I look at what's going on in the world and what happened in the past, I try not to ask why certain things happen, rather just what happened and how it happened. But when it comes to like why people move places, I try to ask the question of why people move. And I think it's a pretty common like human, like it's pretty universal that people want a better life for themselves and for the family, right? And objectively speaking, Western Europe, Europe, the the so-called um, developed states, however you define states or countries, they, they objectively have better lives and they have clean water, they have medical systems, the society is better. And it would be natural, almost natural for people wanting to move there, especially when you think of people from Sub-Sahara, uh, Central America, South America, life is pretty shit, right? I, I've been to some places and life is shit. And, and just me saying I have an American passport is almost like envious for them and they want to be there. And so is Western Europe and UK and some other countries like Singapore. And I think from that perspective, you, you can't fault them for wanting to go, right? But I also empathize with the people who are already living in those places, like myself, right? Like, it's like the haves, like the people who get there first, they don't want the people has not come to, to come and take, take the cake. The cake is only so big, right? And so that's, that's just my thoughts. And um, um, I'll, I'll share more thoughts later. Yeah. You definitely will join more often uh, in the future and also you know, join the private chat that uh, I've already emailed you guys. And uh, CFL, you're, you're muted. You're muted. Thank you, uh, Wyatt, for giving us the chance to speak. You're a legend.